What's up everybody? I want to do a quick update here for everything. The tank is, uh, as you've seen, filled and uh, we're done stocking it now. So I just want to go through everything we've got here. We'll start from the left and then move on. Got the Duncan right here. Like I said, favorite coral. Got a shave brush right there in the back who just keeps getting knocked over. And I'll sort of uh, address some of that. Uh, we've got the Pally up top right there, pretty big. Right next to that is the Fruit Loop Zoas. And some of the stuff might be closed up. I've just thrown in some Rod's food for uh, everybody and for those who are wondering. That's Tiki right there. She's got more of a slant to her face. She's doing really good now, eating. And there's Bar, really active. Sorry to get my finger in there, but just wanted to point him out. And he's always uh, getting in the shot, so sorry about that. So we've got the Fruit Loop Zoas right there. Right next to that are a bunch of Zoas who have no name to them. In the back corner right there are the Green Bay Packer Zoas. Right here, oh look at that Zoa, just closed up. Maybe it caught something. Right here we've got the Rasta Zoa. Let's get it in focus. Rasta Zoa right there, beautiful. Another bunch of uh, no-name Zoas, I think, who've got a bunch of uh, polyps or heads, I don't know what you call them, but they're not opened up yet since I've stuffed them right there in that bit of rock. Um, I, th I don't think they've died, so I think it'll just take them a couple days to acclimate. Right here we've got some clove polyps who aren't doing so well, but since I've added them right there, come on Tiki, out of the way. Uh, since I've added them there, they started budding, so it should have some uh, new polyps grown in. Just a bunch of zoas right here. You can see. Like I, I've been told a lot of muddy colors in these zoas, but when I go and buy them in the local fish store, they look great under their uh, their lighting. And then when I bring them here under these the stock white lighting nothing looks as good but under the blues you'll see everything starting to pop right here we've got another candy cane see if I can show him he's got his tentacles out to eat behind that is a green hairy mushroom right in front of that is the Yuma mushroom it's like orangish pink and then below that is a green mushroom and I'm gonna get in a red mushroom in there soon and so moving over here, we've got, well, we skipped a bunch of stuff right here in the middle. We've got a green frog spawn right there. Then we've got a tongue fungia right here. Yellow finger gorgonian in the back there. And I'm gonna sort of address all this stuff, the placements. Um, so the green star polyps, they're gonna cover up this rock. And then in that little cave right here, I'm gonna throw in some pulsing xenia. And then right here, we've got a uh, torch. It's a green and purple tips. Right behind it, it's a bluish frog spawn. And I think we've nailed it, actually. We've got the orange recordia back here. He's uh, attaching to some rubble. And then I fragged off that uh, candy cane right here. And they're, they're doing pretty good. But they, they look nothing like this guy right here. And you can see his reflection. I didn't know when I was gluing him which side he'd be popping out of. But yeah, let me give you guys a quick look here at the blue, and then I'm gonna give you guys a top view of the blue. So immediately, you can see all the different colors that come out. We've got some red Zoas. We've got the Fruit Loops over here on the left side. The Rastas are pretty much my favorite in there. Those look pretty cool. I like these uh, green ones, bluish green ones right here. There's some green, some blue, and some red, but those are all in those polyps that are closed right in front of it. Here's the pink Zoa, doesn't show up so good. We've got some reds back there, the Green Bay Packers in the back, and just a bunch of different colors that show up here. Um, here's the Duncan under the blue. Get over to the frog spawn here doesn't want to focus on them. There we go. It's the frog spawn, the tongue, the yellow finger gorgonian doesn't really show in the 
and the uh, actinic blues here. Hammerhead looks pretty awesome. There's the torch. Love that one. That frog spawn back there, I really like that too. Like greenish blue. Green star pops, they look great too. So that's gonna look nice when those take over. But yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the pink mushroom here. But uh, we're already at 5 minutes 30 seconds. Let me get to uh, the top view, turn off the pump here. So there's the Duncan from the top in the blues. Oh man, the Rasta closed up. Dang it, I guess something uh, touched him. Wanted to show you guys the Rasta from the top. He looks amazing. Actually, I got a clip of him. I'll throw it in right here. The Rasta Zoa. Look at that. Now, the Fruit Loops right here. Those look awesome. Then, just a bunch of assorted Zoas here. We got the Pally. Can get over here on this side. Green Bay Packers right there. Some other Zoas, like green with uh, pink on the inside. The Yuma Mushroom. Looks awesome in the pink, the green hairy, and the candy cane. That thing looks really cool. All right. There's the tongue. Frog spawn right there. Green star polyps. Another frog spawn, different color. And the torch. Really cool looking. So that's the tank. And here's the front. So pretty cool. Let's get back to the white. I'm going to actually end up uh, moving the tongue a little bit over, move the frog spawn a little bit over, and move this rock over just a little bit so I can give the uh, euphilia here on this side some more space. I'm going to move them along with that because every morning I wake up and my turbo snail right here has knocked like all of these guys down. I woke up today with the hammer uh, laying up on the tongue. And you know, throughout the night, they're gonna send out sweepers and you could kill the tongue like that or really damage it. So, yeah, that's the tank now, guys. The updates are probably gonna slow down unless things start happening or changing. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I was lightning before the thunder. Thunder.